Well, hello. I'm Jeremy Nicholson, um, and welcome to the new Australian National Phenome Centre here at Murdoch University. The Australian National Phenome Centre is an important part of the Western Australia Health Translation Network, or WATN, uh, which is a, a collection of institutions and universities, including the big hospitals and healthcare providers, uh, that are dedicated to improving the health of Western Australians. Major diseases, things like diabetes, obesity, which is not a disease but leads to disease, cancers, antimicrobial resistance, and all the problems related global warming all require big international solutions. The Australian National Phenome Centre is part of a, a wider network of phenome centres. So there are various centres around the world, in Imperial College London, University of Birmingham, Hong Kong, uh, Singapore and several others as well. So the ANPC and the Phenome Centre network linked to it become an important tool for the future. Phenome is where genes and environment mix together. So your body and my body and the properties, physical and chemical, are created by your genes that you get from birth, the your microbes uh, and the environment you're brought up in and also your food. So all the possible properties of your body are your phenome. Everything from our genes to our diet to our environmental pesticide exposures and things like that. All of those things together, the total environment, create who you are and the likelihood of you getting a disease. Molecular phenotyping is the process by which we characterise detailed molecular structures in complex fluids or tissues in order to establish whether the donor of those fluids or tissues is healthy or not. The ANPC has been designed as a laboratory for very high throughput and also very high quality molecular analysis. The whole world, you know, the population's increasing uh, and diseases are increasing by and large. So prevention is always better than cure. And what we're trying to do here is capture detailed molecular profiles that are allow us to assess disease risks at the population level so that we better inform healthcare uh, strategy and inform healthcare policy uh, and also to devise new therapeutic interventions. One of the key foci is food and nutrition. Uh, partly because that's an enormously important part of the uh, Australian economy, but also because it's an enormously important part of preventive medicine and health. So we are what we eat, as, the, as they say, and improving what we eat and improving what we know about what we eat in terms of our health becomes very important in the future of preventive medicine. And the ANPC therefore has a particular role in understanding food and nutrition as part of a more generalised state and indeed uh, national healthcare strategy. For individuals, um, the ANPC is designed as, a, as a, a platform, a set of platforms for profiling body fluids or tissues so that you can diagnose diseases more efficiently and to stratify them into different disease subclasses. And once we've stratified different disease subclasses, we can optimise the therapeutic invention that's needed for the patient. Personalised health works on the premise that everybody is a little bit different and if you look at nutrition for example, if you and I have the same diet, it'll do broadly the same thing but we'll process it slightly differently, it'll have a slightly different effect in, in both of us and similarly with diseases, everybody responds to diseases in slightly different ways. So because everybody's different due to a genetic difference in their background but also their environment in which they, they've grown up in then we can profile these differences. We're looking amongst this variation to see which people can potentially respond better to different drugs. So it's finding the right drug for the right person. Well, we've had a long-standing relationship with Brooker even before we came here, 10, 20 years or more, uh, developing molecular phenotyping. When we came to WA, they were our natural choice of partners, A because we work well with them, but also because they have a lot of different types of instruments for measuring different things. So we can look at foods that set themselves, for example, if we're interested in food quality, or you can look at human health or even animal health. 
You have NMR spectrometers in the laboratory over there, but also uh, these spectrometers here, these mass spectrometers that will do population screening. So if you take blood or urine from a person, you can run them through these spectrometers and they will generate a chemical fingerprint. Then they have other spectrometers that will really dig down into that fingerprint and find out what's important. So one of the reasons they're such a good partner is because they make a lot of different types of spectrometer and best in the field. So the ANPC is the place where there's the highest density of mass spectrometers, I think, in the Southern Hemisphere. So obviously the capacity for generating uh, spectra of different biological samples is phenomenal.